Intro. And this is a brief showcase of my implementation of the dancing links algorithm by Knuth. I wrote a, an interface, interface in Python, and then the algorithm is written in C++. And I applied this dancing links algorithm DLX to uh, Sudoku. I wrote a Sudoku solver. Um, yeah, this paper is really amazing. I'll put it in the description. And I basically walked through the steps here. It explains the process of the algorithm. Um, and it was really interesting, really challenging, and really fun to get it working. Uh, so if I just go ahead and run my uh, Python program, it'll pull up. It uses Pygame. So it'll pull up a window, a Pygame window. Here we are, Sudoku Solver. And the interface is really simple. You click on a square, it highlights it, and then you type a number, it inputs it into a square. You type the backspace, and it deletes it from the square. Um, so we can add and delete numbers as we want. I have it uh, preloaded with a valid Sudoku that we can go ahead and solve by clicking the Solve button. And then it'll call the C++ executable, and the C++ will crunch out an answer and display it if there is one in purple, and then it'll tell you the number of solutions. So example, if I start deleting um, some numbers and I solve it again, um, it'll show me that oh, this isn't actually valid Sudoku. There's 22 solutions, but it'll still give me one of those solutions. It'll be like, this is a possible solution, but there's lots of others, so you need to do more work. And then um, if we were to write in a contradiction, um, solutions zero. Uh, so because there's a six and a six stacked on top of each other, there aren't any solutions, but if we were to get rid of that and uh, do something do something that's not uh, gonna, gonna cause any contradictions, like the seven there and solve, then it'll go back 13 and the answers. And then the clear button just clears everything so you can go back to inputting a new, a new Sudoku. Yeah, so that is, that's the user interface, pretty simple, pretty easy to use. And then the, um, the back end is written in C++. Um, here is the C++ here, um, the CYN structure, um, and then here is the Python that runs the interface. And then here are two text files for passing data back and forth between them. Here's the structure I use. It's just uh, pretty simple visual dashes for no data, numbers for data. And that's how the C++ and Python talk to each other. And then if we look at the actual um, C++ here uh, for the dancing links algorithm, um, actually, we'll look at this little image here. This is the structure of dancing links. It's a uh, two-dimensional, uh, doubly linked circular list. So it's a, it's a 2D web here where each of these rows and columns are circularly linked lists, and they wrap around each other. And each uh, node has up, down, left, right connections um, that uh, let it interact with other nodes. And the reason why we're using this structure for this algorithm is because it's a depth-first algorithm where you have to remove and add lots and lots of nodes from the structure. Um, and if you're doing a matrix, then you would spend a lot of time rewriting the matrix, maybe copying it and doing all sorts of stuff. And we'd have to store old versions of the matrix, which would be hard um, for large for larger matrices. For Sudokus, um, this structure is only 700 rows long by 300 rows wide. So that's not too difficult to uh, keep copies of um, for depth for search. But we don't have to with dancing links. Here's why. When we remove a, a node from a circular list, uh, well, a doubly linked list, um, it still remembers information about where it was. So the typical removal algorithm for 1D lists holds for 2D. Uh, we take this pointer instead of pointing to this object, we just wrap around, point up there. And this pointer wraps around and points down here. Same for this direction. But now, if we want to add this node back in, we don't have to remember where it goes because it knows where it goes. This pointer is still pointed to this object and this pointer is still pointed to this object. So what we can do is we can say, okay, take this pointer, the object that it's pointing to, 
its up pointer should now point to the object that we want to place back. Um, and same for up, left, and right. So it's really easy to add nodes back in, which makes the depth first DLX algorithm work really quickly. And then I'll throw my code up on GitHub, um, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I'll also put a link to this paper in the description so you guys can read over it. But um, yeah, that's a very brief overview of how um, Dancing Links helps Algorithm X work faster and uh, how it looks when it's implemented into Sudoku. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good night. Bye.